Okay, so let's talk about shooting an interview with just your FaceTime camera on your MacBook here. So I'm on, of course, uh, level two where you are, and I have the paper airplane questions here that I'm gonna ask to Mr. Junior. He's gonna be my guest in my show. So um, I'm setting things up for that interview. So you need to kind of find a desk somewhere where two people can sit side by side, which is going to be kind of here. I'm gonna sit here and then um, you kind of got to sit uncomfortably close uh, to each other so that you show up in the shot. So there's the two seats for Mr. Junior and myself. Let me just try sitting down in here. Yeah, it sits down just fine. Okay, so we will be sitting here. So for the first two parts of this, I actually don't need Mr. Junior. So I'm going to be in this chair here and he's going to be here. I'm going to set up my computer. Let me get it going here. Let me get iMovie opened up. Here's iMovie with a new project, new movie. Okay, and then the input, of course, is going to be the FaceTime camera. There we are. Okay, so let me just sit comfortably in this chair. And I need to, since I'm using the microphone, which I think is on this side, sometimes they hide the microphone up here by the camera, but there's a microphone somewhere on here and I need to be fairly close to it so that it gets my voice really well. So I think, that's it right there. And I want to be, I want to be positioned in a way that I'm looking into the empty space of the frame. So don't, don't center yourself. You don't want to be like that. You want to be, so if Junior sits here, I'm going to be looking at him and notice, notice over here, over my shoulder. See, see how I'm looking towards the empty spot, this empty part of the frame here. That's where I want to look like wherever Mr. Junior is going to be. Okay. So I think I like how I'm framed. I don't have too much headroom above my head. Everything's looking good there. Now I can go ahead and press record. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back over to the questions, uh, which are on Chrome here. Okay, and you kinda of gotta memorize them because you don't wanna read them. What sparked your first interest? What part are you in building paper airplanes and how is your passion evolved over time? Okay, I think I've got that. So uh, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna just, I'm gonna switch the camera around here just so you can see me doing it. But I'm gonna pretend Mr. Junior is here. So his eyes should be about right here. And what's the question again? What first sparked your interest in building paper airplanes and how is your okay. So what first sparked your interest in building paper airplanes and how has that developed over time? Okay, do you, do you see I just shot myself asking him a question even though he's not here. So now I need question number two. Can you describe the process you go through when designing a paper airplane one? Okay. So could you describe the process that you go through in designing a paper airplane model? Okay, I think you get what I'm doing here, right? Uh, now there's a lot more questions here, but I'm gonna end it here. So I'm gonna just do two questions because you understand what's going on, right? So you film yourself at pretending that the person is there and you ask the questions just to blank air, okay? So you're just asking it to blank air and you of course are recording it on your, your camera right here in in FaceTime. So I've got that done and now I'm going to press stop. And then the second part is you've got to record yourself doing um, kind of reactions to someone talking. So here we go. Now this time I can kind of leave it pointing here. So let me just get this out of the shot. And I just need to be like, I'm nodding. Mm, like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you while I'm doing it. But just like when someone talks to you, you respond with facial things. And it's usually just a nod or a, hilt, a head tilt. So let me just get a few more of those. And like surprised, you see I got my eyebrows went like, hmm. A smile, okay, now let's do a serious response. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, just like we're good. So you need to record probably 30 seconds of you just pretending to respond to some interesting kind of I don't know, answers to the questions. So those are the first two steps. You record yourself asking all the questions and, and in the right, correct in the frame here. And then you record yourself nodding in response, some response things. And that's step one. Next one, we're gonna go get Mr. Junior and record him now. Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry about this. This is Time Machine, Mr. Flick. So this is a few days later after that footage you're watching. And I'm editing it and I realized that I never did the part where I introduced the interview. Okay, that's a critical part. So I'm gonna make sure to put that in the instructions, 
but you need to watch that um, as, as you do this now. So uh, you need to look into the camera and basically introduce what the interview is about to be. So I'm gonna give you an example of this uh, that I shot with Mr. G. You'll see that I have a different shirt on uh, because I shot it later. And that's okay to do. I mean, when you make mistakes, you just gotta go back and fix them. So forgive me, but you need to make it part of just the you by yourself with your, your MacBook. You don't need to have your guest with you or the person you're interviewing. You just need to do it. So take a look at it because I got it right here. For more fascinating interview, yeah. for more fascinating, for more fascinating information about paper airplanes, check out this interview I did with Mr. Junior himself.